that's, I'm almost, you're, that's crazy. <laughs> you know, swings and roundabout. So a while back, my dad did a bit of family tree stuff. So I've got like a little basic knowledge. Um, mostly I think I'm just going to be English. Although on my dad's side of the family, uh, we were Jews living in the kind of Eastern European area. So maybe if I have anything interesting, it's probably going to come from that. Uh, for me, well, uh, I've got kind of mixed heritage. Um, my mum's from Nigeria and my dad was born in Jamaica. But my mum is quite fair. She's like really, really light skinned. So I think there might be like a throwback European gene in there somewhere. So I'm going to say like maybe just to mix up a little bit, like 10% European somewhere. For me, I'm expecting to find out that I'm half Italian and half English. Uh, my dad, both his parents moved over to the UK after the war and they're both Italian. My dad's dad is from Sicily and my dad's mum is from mainland Italy. So I expect it to be sort of a mix between English and Italian. I think I'll probably just be 100% English. Just really, really uninspiring and unexciting. Uh, I mean, Shardlow, my surname's kind of a bit German-French, but otherwise yeah. just Canal Town and Derby. It's just... <laughs> what about you? Well, I think my, my mum's mum is Irish, so I think that's 25% of me already accounted for. Um, my last name, Percy, which is P-E-R-C-Y, what the Percy families were actually the most powerful noble family in England in the Middle Ages. So I'm thinking, you know, some royal roots, um, but the, the evolution of that name came from the French Percy with an I. So I think there'll be some French roots in there as well, but that sort of trickled down through hundreds of years. So I'm really excited to see what else it could be. I have no idea. Cheers. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the strings. Look. Oh. God. Uh, well, that just went all over myself. That wasn't even in the tube, that was everywhere. Black <laughs> gone. Goodbye, adhesive. There we go. There we go. It's sealed up. My biohazard <laughs> is ready. It's ready. <laughs> So uh, it's been a couple of weeks since we sent our vital spit off to the lab. Uh, they've obviously been doing something with it, but we're just, I've been so nervous. I'm ready. So your prediction was 25% Irish with French roots. Yeah. Um, and as a total, you are 99.9% .9 European. Okay. And that's 76.8% British and Irish. Okay, yeah. Add up. Um, and then 11.1% French and German. going to be German. It's entirely German. It's none French. of it's French. None, French no. heritage. No. Bonjour. <laughs> Très bien. And then 1.1% Scandinavian. Oh, okay. Oh. Scandi chic, you know. And then one more thing, which is just based on all of your sort of DNA relatives on the site. And it tells you the sort of percentages of those relatives and what they're more likely or not likely to do. 32% more likely to have worked as a lifeguard. Do, 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 do. A lifeguard. No, you paid him to put that in oh there. Oh my god. <laughs> my grandma worked as a paramedic. A bit more glamorous than a lifeguard, but. You do like taking care of people. I am really nice. She's a very kind lady. Yeah. Lady and I look great in a red swimsuit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing the site tells you is how many Neanderthal variants you have. <gasps> what does that even mean? Come on, 60%. <laughs> So what how many mean? genes you have that came originally from Neanderthals? You have 275. Percent? No, not percent. <laughs> <laughs> you have 275 variants. Oh! But it does mean that you have the genetic variant which is associated with having less back hair. <laughs> you know, swings and roundabout. If mine's a high back hair one, don't <laughs> tell me that on camera. Right. 
Oh my god. Okay, I'm so ready for yours now. Oh my god, okay. So you said 100% English, yeah. your prediction. You're 100% European. Okay. British and Irish, 74.2%. That's more than me! And that's London, primarily, um, but then also a big group in Manchester, South Yorkshire and Lancashire. Oh! That area. Uh, but yeah, I would guess Sheffield is that region, so that explains yeah, my dad's side. Right now, I guess. Oh, that's interesting. But Lon London, there shouldn't be any London. French and German, 7.8%. Scandinavians, 6.3%. Yeah. Okay, okay. So it's back somewhere, somewhere, the eyes from somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then otherwise, it's just broadly northwest, northwestern European, 11.5, and broadly European, 0.2. So that's, can't pin it down. Okay. And so you have 318 Neanderthal variants. Three. Which is more than 96% of 23andMe what? customers. Oh my god! Why does that mean when people have more? Does it mean it's like. So you do have the variant associated with having less back hair. Oh, I could be great. I'm a very human. social person. I'd like to think that they all, you know, came, to, came together, like formed a community. Cooker. Yeah, full of slow cooker. No back hair and sweaty yeah. palms. Yeah, remind you Tinder profile. <laughs> Neanderthal slow cooker. 48.6% is Ashkenazi Jewish. Cool. Wow. That's a high percentage. Pretty accurate, yeah. Um, and then 32.1% British. Scandinavian, 4.7%. Oh, wow. That I didn't know. That's cool. And the Netherlands or Germany, 2.9%. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much along the lines of what I expected. Um, obviously, like, pretty much half Jewish, half non-Jewish. And I knew that the immigrants kind of came from that sort of area of Europe. Um, so, yeah, not, not too many surprises there. Pretty, pretty happy with how that turned out. Didn't know about the Scandinavian, that's cool. Got a tiny bit of Viking in me. The other thing is it automatically finds your sort of DNA relatives. All of the relatives are 76% less likely to have lived near a farm when they were young. Sure. 49% <laughs> <laughs> more likely to have worn braces on their teeth. I had braces, that's, yeah, pretty accurate. And 58% less likely to drink energy drinks. Yeah, I'm not much of a Red Bull guy, so... Is that because of sugar? Do you, how does sugar affect you? I've got no idea. The normal amount, I think. I just <laughs> never really liked them. Sub-Saharan African, 97.6%. Yep. Well, I thought so. Quite a big, quite a big percentage. Um, and that is 72.2% Nigerian. Oh, okay. So that's quite a lot. Um, and then 8.2% Congolese. That makes sense, actually, thinking about that. Because my, my dad's from Jamaica, and but he's quite dark. He's like Wesley Snipes, quite dark <laughs> <laughs> levels. And um, if you see him, he does look like very, very sort of like Central African. I'm not too surprised by that. Is he going to be surprised about that? He's got to be surprised. I <laughs> can't wait to tell him. 6.2% yeah. yeah. Coastal West African. 0.4% um, Southern East African. Oh, OK. That's interesting. Uh, and then 0.1% African hunter-gatherer. What does that mean? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, and then your possible European throwback gene, you have 2.4% European. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, which is 1.1% British and Irish. You most likely had a third, fourth, fifth, or sixth great-grandparent who was 100% British or Irish. Uh, this person was likely born between 1750 and 1840. Um, and then your sort of DNA relatives online, uh, they are 102% more likely to feel jittery after drinking caffeine. Yes, 100%, yeah. I can't have, I, as you guys know, I don't drink tea or coffee. 52% more likely to have a perfect pitch. You might, you might you know, it's where you can like, so you could oh. sing like a C note. Really? So Give so us someone, a note. Uh, Get yeah. this guy in X Factor next, year, next year, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> <laughs> On your father's side, going way, way back, you have a distant relative, and this is a sort of 73,000-year-old relative, uh, with Pharaoh Ramesses III. Oh, really? Sick! Hey, <laughs> That's well some, cool. like, Egyptian... Yeah. So your great-grandfather, 73,000 years, is also his great-grandfather. Oh, my day. Okay, there it, like, goes. meets at that point. So I'm, I'm really, like, related to royalty, almost. Ooh. In a way. In a way, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> way, way back, but yeah, I can kind of say that. Don't, yeah, let, yeah, don't, don't let it go to your head. 
way more interesting than your Scandi stuff. Yeah, I'm a farmer. You're a farmer, I'm a pharaoh. <laughs> Twenty-eight point two percent Italian. Okay, that's that's less than I thought it would be. I mean, twenty-eight. That's like just over a quarter. So is that, that's that's definitely less than yeah. I thought it would be. So that means my dad must not be. Oh, he's definitely my dad, but he must not be as Italian as he thinks he is. Maybe. Um, and then twenty-four point nine percent French and German. What? Are you kidding? What? Twenty-four point nine percent French and German. Okay. You're as, so you're as German or French as you are yeah. Italian. <laughs> well, life's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? That's some serious questions to ask parents. Right? Yeah, I mean, so does that mean I'm I'm more French and German than I am uh, British? Yep. So what? How much? You're eleven point one percent British and Irish. What? Really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's like that's I'm almost. You're, that's crazy. And then you have 1.2% Western Asian and North African. Oh, sick! Hey. Yeah! <laughs> yes! Oh, yeah, okay, well, to summarise, my life's been a lie. Uh, <laughs> culturally, I couldn't really be any more British. <laughs> so that's a bit of a shock to me. I had no idea there was so much French and German in my uh, ancestry. I don't really, really know what, I, I mean, I guess that's just because lots of British people will have French and German that they don't know about. But yeah, that's really interesting. So humans are actually 99.5% identical. It's that 0.5% uh, that provides us with this genetic diversity uh, with regards to your results. Uh, we've had adoptees that have no clue what their ancestry is and then are able to see a reflection of uh, you know, multiple continents uh, within their results. But we see that happen quite often. You know, people don't realize that, um, you know, people migrated from different areas to places that are nearby. And just because you were born in a specific country doesn't necessarily mean that your DNA comes from there.